I don't know how it got here, but there's a truck over here. Truck like, it's right where it's right where you said it was. Right here, 100%. Oh, Jeremy, let's get our gear on and go float out there and see what we can get, huh? And I guess we're gonna give the police a call and see if they can run this plate. Which, if it is stolen or a missing person case, I mean, it's gonna pop up. I mean, there ain't no way we're gonna get that car right out. It's probably stolen, but we don't know how to wear. So I'm parked up here. Apparently the spot we're getting to is kind of a dumping ground, but we're about to get the boat in right now. Let's walk down there. See, there's just trash all over the place. It's really, really sad that people do this. What's up, man? How's it going? Long time. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I talked to you this morning. <laughs> hey, what's going on guys? Adam Brown Adventures here. Thanks for joining on another scuba diving adventure. Today is gonna be a little bit of a different one. We're actually in Gadsden, Alabama, searching for a couple missing vehicles. There's also apparently a few missing people in the area. I'm out here with Jeremy and Wolf Creek Outdoors. Apparently there's a truck that you did some sonar down the river here. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, well, I mean, I was just out here doing sonar, just, just having a day of sonar. And uh, in the weirdest spot, uh, a truck popped off on the sonar screen, and I don't know, I have a clue how it's there, but it's a, uh, it's a truck. Yeah. So, so we, you, you can so see. We from, gotta dive it. Yeah, you can <laughs> see from the footage, the sonar footage right now, that it's explain the footage that people are seeing right now, Jeremy. The footage shows uh, a shadow. Essentially, when the sonar hits something, you got a blind spot on the other side, right? Mm -hmm. Essentially, it's a shadow. It's like shining a flashlight, you know, at something. Shadow. You can't really see the pickup truck on the sonar, but you can see the shadow it's throwing, which looks just like a single uh, cab pickup truck. Yeah. So it's definitely, definitely a truck. We have no clue what kind of truck it is. And it shouldn't be but here. It should not be it should here. It shouldn't here be here, street. but the bridge is way up here as you guys can yeah. see. This is like some private, I think, farmland or something over here. Um, and the truck's down there in a weird spot. So it's either dumped or someone drove in. I mean, there's only kind of two options. Yeah. I mean, it's possible that they, they could have drove it on this side. Uh, it's 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 pretty convenient sitting on all its wheels. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Who knows? We got we got to dive in, figure it out. Should yeah. be easy, quick dive. Dark and spooky, like always, which I hate, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> so we got all of our gear. We got the Adventures Purpose boat right here. We're about to go down there and mark the vehicle so we know where to dive on it. We also, if you guys can see, I got my dry suit on. Jeremy has his dry suit on too, and we got these from DiveRightInScuba.com. And if you guys want to get yourself a dry suit or any other scuba gear, go to DiveRightInScuba.com. They have been amazing to us, and I'll have their link in the description. So let's get on the boat now and uh, go check out this truck. Here. I don't know how it got here, but there's a truck over here. According to Jeremy, he's been out here before. Just according to Jeremy, so you call me a liar? Well, I mean, it just seems like a crazy place for a vehicle to be, so. Man, right behind all these trees over here. You found it? Oh, yeah. It's right where I left it. Nailed it. You got it? Oh, yeah, I got it. Boom. That's it? That's it, we're done. Simple as that, dude. Like, it's right where it's right where you said it was. Right here, 100%. Oh, Jeremy, let's get our gear on and go float out there and see what we can get, huh? Okay. I hate, I hate this part. You I don't care what says. Full face mask. Oh yeah, I got it right there. Ah, oh, choking to death already. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes stuff people want to see. Do they? So Struggling to put all our gear on. I don't. I don't know where it's at. You got it. Yeah, look at you. Uh, Almost like you've done that before. Damn, it's all right, damn it. I'm just gonna go over here. You feel it?
It doesn't look that old. KEVG Alabama inspired April. That's definitely not Oscar. I'm curious though. It's got a tag on it. Should we call? Oh yeah, we'll definitely report it. Let it know exactly what we found. I wanted to get part of it off. 2500 Silverado. It's a 2500? Yeah, yeah, I saw the Silverado. Full size pickup. That is so much. I wonder what year it is. I should be able to figure. I might be able to run the uh, part number off that tail light and get a year that way was it on a metal license plate it felt like paper it the it, uh, it's i think they're aluminum now so the and the aluminum printing. just falls apart yeah and they, it, all it is is just a sticker i've seen that before hey guys we just got out of the water as you can see from the footage the clarity was actually a little better than i was thinking it would be <laughs> it was not surprisingly you can see, see that it's doing. a red truck yeah. a uh, 2500 silverado and the plates on there it says Kev G K E yeah. V. I'm thinking those are G. personalized. It's not. That that's like a vanity plate, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I mean, that, that's going to be even easier to look up. I, I mean, how many people have Kev G on their license plate? That's, and I was able I'm to. Still curious. Yeah. yeah I yeah. pulled off the back tail light of it. That's the only thing I could grab. But um. It's a newer Silverado. It's never. It's ain't been there that long. That's, no, it hasn't been there that long. No, a few years, but not a long time. Yeah, it was really cold, man. Luckily, the dry suit worked good. I need some new gloves, though. But, um, yeah. Just a wink. <laughs> <laughs> it, it dropped off pretty quick, but I guess it's rocky right there where the truck is because it's just sitting there. It's kind of. Yeah, I went down to the bottom and just stood there on the rock, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> but right here, it's like sinking in the mud. It's a complete slant, so not the best conditions. But. I just started swimming down because I was like, man, I don't know where it's at. And I was like, bah! and I ran right into oh, it. And I was like, there it is. <laughs> Red. All right, guys, we're back on the boat. Heading back up to uh, regroup. And I guess we're going to give the police a call and. See if they can run this plate, which is a very, it's a, it's a vanity plate, yeah. which is kind of different. We haven't found a car with a personalized vanity plate, have we? No. That's two red vehicles we found. Yeah. No. The truck ain't been out of that long, though. It's, a, it's, a yeah, it's not that old. Get the bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's falling apart, but it was a vanity plate. So it's Kev G. Kev G. Kev dash G. That's gonna pop off. That's not. Oh yeah. Hopefully it'll come it's off. It's not gonna be like, like the one that the, on Tuesday that expired in the 90s, <laughs> and they had no record of it. I mean, it can't. Break. It's. I guess. Ooh, it's 2000s. It's gotta be. It doesn't look very old. I'm guessing like 2009 or something. 
Alright guys, we just got back over to the van over here. And Jeremy, you already got your dry suit off, I see. I do. I only wear it for the occasion. So here's a better look at the tail light that I ripped off. And so once again, this is off a 2500 Chevy Silverado. So there may be some sort of a serial number on that part, but we know the license plate. We didn't rip it off because it was just falling apart. We didn't want to uh, mess it up and like tear out the paper because I think it's like an aluminum plate. But uh, the plate is Kev, K-E-V-G. So it's like a custom vanity plate. So we're about to give the police a call now and uh, see what they say. But if it is stolen or a missing person case, I mean, it's going to pop up very easily. That dude's number, that dive guy, the county sheriff, yeah. that guy, the dive master. Yeah. We should call him up and see what he thinks. Hello? Hey, Steven. Yes. Uh, this is Jeremy. We met, uh, you know, I think, last week at the boat ramp diving them cars. I'm one of the scuba divers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we're back in town, and uh, uh, we just dove on another pickup truck. And uh, I figured I'd give you a call first and just kind of let you know about it, I guess. But is this more city, or would it be your jurisdiction? Where, where are you at? Yeah, we are on... Uh, Behind Gibbs. There's a... I just passed over you. Yeah, the bridge, and there's a creek right there. And there's a there's a full-size pickup truck sitting here in the creek. <laughs> Got the tag and everything. It's a vanity plate. I'm guessing stolen, but... I'll do it in just a minute. Okay, sounds good. All right. Well, convenient, he just drove by. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, so he's going to turn around and... Uh, good come timing. Ha yeah, come have a hangout. I'll be like, hey, we found another one. Keep him busy. He's a dive master for the sheriff's department. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I'm sure he enjoys it. Yeah. So, like, we're finding stuff for him to dive. <laughs> like, I got another one. Go get it. Hello again, sir. Hello, guys. How's it going? Doing all right, Doing good. If you'd have called about five minutes sooner, I was just at the school right here with a basketball game. I had just gone to the state going that way, so I had to get turned around. How yeah. are you? Day off? I'm yeah. Adam. Oh, Adam. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, man, I bet they're all night. I got the day off. It is. Where are we at this time? There's a there's a full-size Silverado sitting down there in the creek. Just remember uh, last week when I told you about the truck that was we pulled out that was stolen uh -huh. and had all the rocks and stuff in it? This is what we're talking about. Oh, uh, not the same truck, yeah. but same there. Would you ever get a tag off of it? Uh, I know the number. We didn't get the tag out because okay. it's falling apart. Yeah, but uh, it's a vanity plate. Question is how it got? How did it get all the way down there? Come from that side over there, I'm guessing. Uh, I mean, I guess it could hit here and float. Floated, a little yeah. Bit and go that way, but the last one we got, we uh, we. Just hypothesized that it came from the yeah. Side of the I mean, it's facing up river, yes. so um, okay. And the front looked like it was kind of smashed in, so. Okay. You're on a tag, honey. Kilo, Echo, Victor, Golf. It's coming back negative on file. But that's the same issue we had on the last vehicle that we pulled out of right here. Yeah. Because after five years of being stolen or something, they purge them out of NCIC. Well, he said uh, he thought it expired. Well, I mean, it's it's the the, the 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 sticker says April and it's red. I don't know what year that was, but <laughs> it doesn't have any numbers on it. If it does, I couldn't see him. It just saw April on it. Yeah, and if it's falling apart, oh, it's it's been a few years at least. Yeah. If this fell apart, I would imagine more than five, which would be over the threshold. Gentlemen, how are y'all? Oh, about three years ago, we pulled one out. It's close to the same area, and it was stolen out of the Edson. They said orange booyah right there, so we got it marked. Uh, but they, they've now found this one. I don't know if it's, I don't know about it, so y'all may know about it. Uh, I have no idea. They got the tag, it's KEV-G. I mean, there ain't no way we'll get that car out. Of it. That's crazy. It floated down through there or something. Somebody dumped it off through here and just so we were it. They used to go down to the water, yeah, down there. Yeah. Hey, we figured we'd let you guys know. Yeah, What's the tag number? Uh, Kev G. K E V slap with dash, dash, G. dash yeah. G. Yeah. Alabama tags. <clears throat> it's like a Silverado. It's a 2500 red Silverado. 2500 red Silverado. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't get the tag off of it, it's falling apart. Yeah, I mean, it's 
probably stolen, but we don't know how to wear. How that's long ago either? That was good. Good luck yeah. finding her, man, because I'm, I'm kind of curious. What's the channel? Mine's exploring with Nug. Mine is Wolf Creek Outdoors. Yeah. Adam Brown Adventures. <laughs> Do you remember all that? Mine is Stephen <laughs> Hooks, President, Sons of the American Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the history, you know, Brown looking eight months. I'm probably going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you guys can see, the officers came and they ran the plates, and I guess nothing came back as stolen or linked because uh, right, buddy, thanks for coming when down. the vehicles are, I guess, older, past how many years? Five years? Uh, A certain amount of years, I mean, five, they're not five coming years, up. they said they, they purged the system. Yeah. So if the car was stolen and, and five, like, I don't know, like it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's recorded stolen for five years and it's free. So essentially, if you steal a car, just sit on it for five years. Right, it's right And then it's years. as good as yours. So uh, we, we learned Depending something. Depending on whose car, no, we, we don't. I'm we're just not, saying. We're not. I'm not saying don't steal listen to car, Jeremy. I'm just saying. But it's, they know where it is now. And if any uh, thing comes up in the future where a red, missing red 2500 Silverado is missing, then they know where it is. Yep. So that's pretty cool that we could assist and uh, locate this vehicle. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys enjoyed watching this adventure, please consider subscribing. Leave a like on this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. Uh, it's always cool to get out here, find some vehicles, and, you know, work with the local law enforcement. So that was really cool. And uh, just have a good good day, you know, out on the river. We're going to do some more searching later. I think Jeremy's going to do a live stream. So maybe check out his channel. I have uh, the, all the links in the description below. You can check that out. And once again, shout out to Dive Ride and Scuba for uh, hooking me up, helping me out with this dry suit. This thing was amazing. It worked awesome because this water is in like 40 degrees. So it's pretty cold. So it worked great. I need to get some gloves though soon, but uh, if you guys need anything scuba related or dry suits, go to DiveRightInScuba.com and I will see y'all in the next adventure. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to help support me and what I do every week, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh yeah.